Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, February 25th, and what a week it has been. Oh, my goodness. We, well, there is a war going on. Russia rolled over into Ukraine and is now um, moving ever closer to city center of um, the capital. And yesterday we came in. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I, I know it's a little hard to see. Let me, let me just do this. Because it's important to see this picture. Uh, should have done this before I got on. I'm sorry. Well, now I can't get it to move. Ah, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Sorry. Okay, so yesterday, right, we've had these waterfall candles. We came in with even more news. Um, and over uh, night before last, we watched as um, Russia declared war on Ukraine. And we started out well, way down here um, at the uh, 410 level. We had a gap up from back here that we actually went ahead and filled, you know, one that I didn't think we would fill anytime soon, but apparently we did. We do have another gap sitting down here. But then as the day went on, uh, the president did come out and talk about sanctions. And then we just continued to rally on after that into the close. Now, this is not meant to be political. I don't believe that those sanctions are really, um, they, they're, they're calling them harsh. They're really not, they could have gone a lot farther. They aren't, they did not sanction energy and they didn't sanction SWIFT, which if you know anything about banking, that's actually um, really a disappointment. That would really, uh, it, it carries a lot of power. So we'll see if that is just something that they're holding on to here to uh, maybe persuade Putin to roll his troops back. Um, but then this morning we came in. We're going to go back to the ES chart here, which is the futures chart. And let me make sure this is just on today. All right. So we were just kind of cruising around and, you know, kind of low, very choppy. And then here, this candle headlines came out that per China, that Putin and China and, and G had talked and that Putin is willing to send a delegation to Minsk to talk to the Ukrainians. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in that. Not it, regardless of where it came from, uh, I kind of lean on that as maybe more of a, a stall tactic. But, you know, okay, I guess we have to move along with it. But that is this move here, and now we're starting to move again. Durable goods came, orders came out and were much higher than expected, so that is very good. Uh, personal income came out here in just the last couple of minutes, um, came out unchanged. They expected a drop, so that is a bit of a beat as well uh, on the positive side for us. So getting some good economic data, but I will warn you, that when these headlines come out, they come out so fast it makes things incredibly volatile. So let's go ahead and hop into some names. And all of these, I really, you know, kind of lean on day trades. Now I am holding a gold hedge, took big profits out of it yesterday, holding a small part and waiting to potentially um, add a little bit to that. Consumer spending came out as well. The estimate was 1.6. We came out 2.1. So again, um, you know, quite a bit of decent data coming out there. But everything, you could throw a dart and it had a reversal. It, yesterday. Just about everything was moving so very well. Um, Apple came down really close to its 200. It hadn't been that close to it in quite some time and pushed right back up. A lot of big tech names uh, did very well. In fact, the, the NASDAQ definitely leading the way there. We saw quite a dip in energy. Um, but there are, okay, let's get, get into some names that I'm, this is a great day trade name, but the ones I actually set up for trades going to go with live. Live just re had their earnings yesterday. Look at this big, beautiful candle. So typically I don't play the day right after earnings. I kind of let it settle in. But as again, leaning on the shorter term trade, looking for a little bit of a pullback into this candle and then a push on and test that 125. So I'm watching the 125s here, the 414, 125s here. I like it over yesterday's close or an opening range break. And uh, watch for that earnings follow through here. Just did really well yesterday. And I like it. So another earnings 
<coughs> excuse me, play coming out, MRNA, yep, incredibly beat up chart, I get it, but look at this nice little, we have the 3.8 touching, we're touching the 20, we're looking for confirmation of that follow through of the 3.820 cross here and follow through on these earnings. Of course, a lot of their earnings were about the Moderna vaccine and their sales. We'll look for continuation in this. Again, shorter term trade, looking for the 414, 165 above yesterday's close, 156.23, or an opening range break. Again, and watch that 3820 cross. We want to make sure if you decide to hold this, it needs to close above the 20. And then we saw Solars. Uh, we actually talked about this one a couple of times yesterday. And Solars just kind of perking up here. So we are going to watch and see if we get that continuation in the solar names. There's a whole bunch of solar names. Um, Run is just a very easy one for equity and their options are quite uh, reasonable. I did choose the 318s, but I would flip over and look at those 41425s because if they continue to move, that will pick up um, some more volume and that's what we want to see in it. Other solar names, there's FSLR, ENPH, JKS, just to name a few. Uh, and JKS typically has some pretty good um, options as well. So you can take a look at that one. All right, Sunrise. Another area I want to talk about real quick is, oh, wait, and Square. Wait, I want to talk about Square. Earnings mover, um, big move, came up at this nice engulfing candle incredibly beat up this morning having some more news it actually has if it holds over 110 it will have a 3820 cross today so keep an eye on square i would probably draw in a trend line oh a trend line that's so not fibonacci lines i would take and draw in the trend line and maybe use that as my initial target oh on square we are sitting at 115 right now so, uh, well above this, this area, um, make sure we continue above that and then watch that 34 in square. All right. It just popped here in the last couple of minutes. That's pretty funny. Okay. Another area we've heard a lot about cyber attacks and what that looks like. And we actually even heard about us doing some cyber attacks. I don't know why you would announce that, but Hey, whatever. Um, cyber names. I had this question yesterday. What are some names? Of course, we're all familiar with crowd. Really like this one, big bullish engulfing, close to the 50, anything over the 50 on crowd looks good or um, a, <coughs> sorry, or an opening range break. KTOS is a big one as well. It's already up over its 50. Pan W, this one's talked about on CNBC quite a bit. Now, just watch on these. One thing I did notice when I was going through looking at chains, the uh, theta in them, the decay, is very, very high. So uh, it's definitely not one that we want to maybe hold on to too long, but it's just a very good one as well. Uh, FTNT is another one that gets a lot of talk on CNBC, but there are several of them out there. Cyber, it, cyber is an um, cyber arc software. So this actually came up here to the 200. Look at that, eating up lots of price action, so maybe that's another good one. There are, oh, and VRNS, that's the other one I know. Yep, VRNS, this is another one, watch for it for a move above the 50. Again, not sure I would stay in any of these all that long, but definitely worth a look. Um, and again, as I said, a lot of big reversals. I pulled up my reversal scan and I had 120 pop on it. So that's a lot. So we will continue to watch. If you're playing any of those, watch for that. Uh, continuation remember our first half hour to hour is incredibly volatile and we're gonna watch for more out of these headlines from Russia regarding maybe trying to uh, set up some talks with Ukraine that would most likely push us more toward the green okay everyone if you have any questions reach out Heather C at givingtreetrading.com one last note thank you all for the messages and prayers for Max he continues to recovery to recovery does have a quite a, a uphill road to recovery uh, right now but he is doing fantastic and we will visit the vet here again this afternoon to check on everything but he is awesome and says thank you rough rough from max